this is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising capricorns hello there thank you for being here thank you for returning thank you for all likes and shares and support please thumbs up leave messages and um, share these videos it is very important to share these videos likes and share and subscribe okay you Capricorns it is the month of February 2018 and this month of February carries the energy vibration of the wheel of fortune which is a wonderful wonderful energies and with the energy of the wheel of fortune you have the zodiac energy of uh, hair in the two first week and water in the second week so we are going to be having four weeks in the month of February um, for you guys it's going to be the energy of the Sun in February you Capricorns when was the last time you guys got the Sun okay alrighty so this month this year it's gonna be good let's see what is happening in the four weeks of this month for you Capricorns the wheel of fortune oh my god so this is wonderful for you Capricorns this is wonderful so wheel of fortune is always bringing a lot of surprise lux, opportunities and this is going to happen for you in the first week the general energies and please remember to listen to the general energies general energies in this week is the energy of the tower but what is happening is that all that has been transpiring all the negative things that has been transpiring in your life is actually going to fall away because you have the energy of the Sun of February and the wheel of fortune so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive this is going to be good good energy in the first week for you Capricorns this is really wonderful because what has happened and what has transpired all the years has broken down and now you are going to be radiated because the Sun is also success and the wheel of fortune with the Sun is carrying a lot of success with the energy of a the tower breaking down and releasing that which you no longer need and then your life start to flow and begin okay as we look at the second week for the Capricorns we have the energy of the father of cups so this is wonderful so in the second week um, most of you are going to be dealing with the water sign and these are older people um, or I should say these are people over the age of 45 40 45 and older and um, you know it can be um, of a masculine or a feminine energy so it could be a woman or a man that is coming in in the second week and the second week of is the energy of the star and the energy of the star is bringing this person this person is helping you to bring success in your life as we look at the third week of uh, as we look at the third week of February let's see what we have for you Capricorns in the third week we have the energy of the lovers there's something coming out so what I'm receiving because the third week is the energy of the moon which is intuition with the lovers so a lot of you are going to be connecting with um, ex-lovers lovers of the past coming back in they're going to be really really nice and uh, this is going to be positive because it's as if the universe is bringing because um, the wheel of fortune is bringing this man who is um, and water sign a Pisces cancer or a copper a Pisces cancer or a, or a scorpion in your life and uh, this man is going to bring you success and uh, this man is also someone who you have known in past lives and he is coming back in your life so this is going to be wonderful wow isn't this good 
Um, so let's look at the fourth week because the fourth week in the general energies is the energy of the Sun so look let's uh, see what is happening you have the energy of the devil so the Sun and the energy of the devil could be good but we are going to look to see what is going to transpire and what he's he going to do okay what is he going to do so in overall you Capricorns have um, three um, three wonderful wonderful um, um, arcanists coming in to help you in the month of February which is good okay let's see what is happening between the wheel of fortune and this king of cups um, there is the energy of the ones the five of ones so whatever conflicts that you had with someone who um, is an um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion it's now in the reverse form okay so let's say that you had a conflict with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a um, and scorpion it's now in the reverse form okay let's see what is transpiring with um, with this um, water sign person and the energy of the lovers you have six of Pentacles energy of the six of Pentacles so this person is going to help you out financially they are going to be providing financial help for you um, it could be a business arrangement that is coming in but whoever this person is the conflicts that you had with them the past life conflicts is now over the conflicts that had um, happened um, in your past life it is now over and this person is going to start to help you out financially okay and this this is good this is good this is good Let's see what the energy of the um, lovers and the devil is going to bring because this was that was a weird one, the eye princess, the eye princess. So the energy of the lovers and the eye princess. Okay. The lovers. There was a situation where people relationship it was like ups and down ups and down all over the place and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad but you didn't want to let go because you know that there was true love and you're holding on on this true love and it's you're overwinning it because um, it's as if your intuitions and guides it's as if both your guardian angels are protecting both of you so so much and holding you and giving you the inner guidance to really hold on to each other and this is going to be really really happening for you this is going to be really 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 happening for you guys and this is going to be so wonderful so positive so whatever um, that has transpired because this is obviously a lifetime situation that is coming back but um, it's, it's it's bringing success for some people and it's bringing a connection good relationship connection because you are seeing here that um, this person this man who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whatever the the past conflicts and past lifetime past karmatic conflicts are what you're seeing coming in is that it is now over it is as if you guys have learned the lessons and it is now over and what he's doing he's looking forward to be with you and to really support you and you both are going to be given and receiving so this can be given and receiving balance in um, you know given and receiving emotional um, situation with both of you and this is going to be extremely extremely positive because it's going to heal a karmatic situation and uh, that has come back in this lifetime to heal so forgiveness is going to come in and there is going to be a healing and um, 
as you look forward with the energy of the devil is because the energy of the devil is always outside influences so it's always outside the energy of the devil is outside influences and it's as if the eye princess your angels and guides comes in and said now this is over um, now you can move on you know that sort of a thing so it says um, you have done enough for um, damage and this is going to come in in the fourth week uh, you know because what is happening is that um, whatever the transpire it's going to come in in the fourth week but the universal angels and guys are going to be, are protecting this relationship and it's going to be happening huh. I just said that okay so thanks to my angels and guides you are really delivering the messages so um, coming back and to see the connection of the conflicts that has now ended and in a new um, beginning of giving and receiving and forgiveness is coming in it's gonna be okay so um, for the people who are connected with the um, the, the Pisces cancer and scorpion forgiveness is going to enter and an healing is going to be happening and this is going to be wonderful because you have the energy of the two of cups for some people it's going to be business relationship if you um, have a business relationship with um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and there was um, conflicts and that sort of a thing now there is becoming a balance and healing and you're starting to receive and uh, give and receive and the relationship is going to be ill and um, whatever has transpired it's going to be over and you both are going to be connecting again okay so let's see what is happening the seven of Pentacles <laughs> no um, you um, you air signs because you're the second air signs to be receiving the seven of Pentacles so there's obviously hard work um, there's you know planting a seed hard work and um, and, and this has to do with um, um, this has to do with the energy of uh, um, the lovers this has really to do with the energies of the lovers it has to do with the energies of the lovers so um it's it's, it's working around because these water sign people are coming in to partner up with you in business and in love and this is going to be very wonderful so um let's see what is the outcomes for the capricorn in the month of february and the outcomes the nine of swords in reverse the nine of swords in reverse okay so that's so weird the nine of swords in reverse so the nine of swords in reverse is good because whatever the worries was about money it's going to be okay all right so you have the outcomes of the nine of swords in reverse because the center of your reading is all about money the center it's it's it, the month of February it's going to be all about money what it, what it, whatever it is transpiring for you Capricorns the month of February is going to be all about money it's all about money because here you have the nine of swords in reverse because the center but it doesn't really matter what is transpiring the, the, the center of your reading is the six of Pentacles and with the energy of the six of Pentacles that is happening here it's a given and a taken it's as if this person came in to support you in this lifetime because um, a situation are going to be happening and um, the situation what is happening you know it's as if people are blocking your financial situation they try to do it with your emotional self and your materialistic world but it's gonna be okay because 
you know the energy of the ten of Pentacles is coming up here and then the ace of Pentacles so um, whatever that people are doing because it's as if the energy of the Sun comes out and it's cleansing it's bringing positive energies um, in um, this month and what is happening is that with the outcomes of you not worrying anymore the energy of the ten of Pentacles and the energy of the ace of Pentacles is here and um, the father of Pentacles so it's it, it's going to be wonderful it's going to be positive it's going to be a good um, outcomes to the week and as usual the Capricorn readings is a little bit longer because I'm seeing something here because I see the energy of uh, um, the devil and the energy of the devil keep on coming up in a lot of people reading and I want to know what is happening in the fourth week of February for the Capricorns because you you actually begin the month out being very good and what is this it's an contract um, it's a karmatic situation with a man okay so that is the energy um there is uh, um, the, the the energy and and then you're going to decide um to make a decision so i'm sorry i really had to ask because you have so many beautiful um energies that were coming up but the fourth week you have the energy of um, the devil and it is something to do with a relationship relationship contract marriage but it has to do with a relationship and it's a karmatic relationship that is a karmatic relationship um, difficult relationship painful relationship so that is what is going to be happening in um, the four weeks so let's see what is this um, it's, 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 it's as if this person is from the past or um, it's a karmatic relationship that comes back to be healed and as if it's been healed certain conflicts uh, or you know in the in the back but it's as if there is a sort of an energy that um, wants to keep you to um, together spiritual woman in pain tired wow oh no it's was a man religious man um guilty depressed so Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to you, whatever that, because you're thinking about to make a decision. Whoever that person is, is and for the people who are having outside um, relationship, it's going to affect because you. It's as if you decide. It's as if for the people who were like seeing other people outside of your relationship it's as if you decide to um, you know move forward and leave this person and and you know deal with your relationship and leave this person and what is happening is that per this person is really not feeling that you know he doesn't want this to happen he wants to hold on to you so you know this is a situation that because you have already chose someone else but there's a third party in your relationship that doesn't want to let go this this person wants to continue with the relationship and you have chosen to stay in the relationship that you are now in it's as if this person is a third party and you have been having an affair with this person but he doesn't want to let go and this is someone who you have known in lifetime and lifetime before and you guys sort of a connect in this lifetime and he doesn't want to um, move forward he wants to hold on on you, on you as if you know I don't want to lose you but yet still he doesn't want to give up his life neither so 
my, my, you know, as you see um, the layout of this energy, because you're you're no longer anymore worried anymore, because you you have made your um, you have made um, your part with what direction and who you're going with and who you decide to move on in your life with, and you're staying in your relationship because this relationship is. A soulmate relationship that you're in you're at the moment in a soulmate relationship but there is someone who came on as a third party in your relationship and is a karmatic situation and he doesn't want to let go and you are thinking to end this relationship but he is holding on so tight anyway the next energy we have is the energy of Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, and the universe and um, um, the unicorn and Master uh, El Morris. So call up an Archangel, um, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, um, and um, the unicorn and Master El Morris to come in and help you in this month. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's go forward and see what does the ascendant deck have for you, Capricorns? Does the ascendant deck have for you, Capricorns? Nature. I thank, bless, and love the entire nature kingdom, and this is good because whenever you Capricorns. Um, go into nature and ask for healing and a miracle you will receive healing and a miracle okay this is this is not an ax and this is a telling that you will receive the miracle so you know ask for miracles ask Archangel Michael and um, call upon Archangel Michael Archangel Uriel and the unicorns and master Elmore to stand it to you and place their rays and whore in your auras to go for cleaning and cleansing okay we have the energy of allowance for you Capricorn the energy of allowance the number nine energy it says the frequency of allowance invite us to be open to whatever comes out our way without judgment without opinions without fear and without resistance when we allow the universe um, to become our partner in the wondrous dance of experience and expansion so isn't this wonderful um, stay and gaze at it because it's going to activate um, the allowance allowance because sometimes we don't allow ourselves to feel the color for you um, Capricorns is going to be blue blue and call up an Archangel Michael for help the colors is going to be blue and green blue and green for um, you Capricorns um, this is an extreme positive positive energies and I'm guided to go back at the reading um, it's not that um, I'm missing anything but I'm guided to go back to the readings and um, the Wheel of Fortune is, is bringing an end to whatever conflicts that was going on and this end of the conflicts is going to bring a positive positive situation with um, people okay so whatever the conflicts that has transpired um, in the former years it's going to um, bring a positive a positive um, foundation with you and your partner if you have been in a soulmate relationship or a long-term relationship this is a month of healing healing all the karmatic situations and you both are going to learn to give and receive to each other which is wonderful and it's going to be a positive positive blessings uh, for both of you it's as if you have come out of this karmatic situation with a yay ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you um uh, love is the most powerful thing in the world 
um, it's going to be good call upon Archangel Uriel and Archangel Michael okay so you have nine three five hmm, six two times six you guys have six you have the number six the number six three times three times six for you guys in this month so six 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 okay so I want to say thank you for being here namaste until next week mm -hmm.